individual masterpiece. Marshawn en route to the NCAA record a year ago, beat the field by almost six seconds. 328.82 was his time. And we're taking guesses on how fast we think he might go, Rowdy. What are you thinking right now? Well, you know, he broke the record last night by four seconds. It took 29 years to go two and a half seconds in that race to 500. In one fell swoop, he did it by four seconds. Does he have another three or four in him? Absolutely, no question about it. The only reason he wouldn't go faster is does he shut down things just enough to win and then get ready for the relay a little bit later on? That's the only reason, but I don't think it's in his DNA. Here's the first comparison. He was 47-10 last year. He's 47-26 at the 100-yard mark. He's already two body lengths clear of the field. A little off his record pace, but this is where I think he's going to swim really well. This middle part, his underwaters has improved so dramatically. That 500 was proof of that last night, Patrick. Every single underwater was relentless. Watch this. This is a, a, a second 25 or third 25 of a backslope. Watch the other swimmers. If you could take your eye off of Leon just for a second when he comes off of this wall, watch what he does with his underwater compared to everybody else. Keep this shot here for a second, guys. See, he even popped up a little early there. These guys are hanging in there for going underwater a little longer. Does that mean he's saving a little bit? Who knows? He's about a second behind his NCAA mark from a year ago. This is what I said at the beginning of the race. The only reason he would back off. Arizona State has never won a relay. You came up with that stat a couple days ago. You have never won a relay in the history of their uh, division. So will he save up to perhaps have a chance to win their first relay tonight? That would be the ultimate team movement. 2098. So he or he's still a second and a half off. So it's still going to be epic in every way. It's not going to be Marshawn epic compared to last night. The battle for second is between David Schlicht of Arizona State and Baylor Nelson of Texas A&M. He's down in lane two. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. He, I, I don't think there's any doubt that if he wanted to go 325, he could tonight. He's two seconds off his yeah, pace from he, last year. He, he's not going to do it. He, he still may break the record, believe it or not. Don't forget about his freestyle last night. But he's not going 325. I think there's no doubt in my mind he wants to get ready for that relay. I hope Elizabeth asked him about that because he's kind of shut it down. He does not look like he did in the 500 last night. 50 yards to come from Marshawn. He makes the flip at 306-4. Yeah, look at that. You see the pop up there? Big difference in last night. Big, big difference. This is a this is a guy that's saying, I want to be first, but I want to be first as a team, and I want to be first on that relay tonight. He'll go the breaststroke leg. And his Olympic parents, Xavier and Celine, are in attendance here at Indianapolis. The final stroke for another national championship for Leon Marchand. 332-12. He wins his seventh individual championship in Indianapolis. And his teammate Schlick finishes second. Baylor Nelson from Texas A&M third. Look at that reaction for a 1-2 Sun Devil finish. That's exactly what I just said, Patrick. Great point, buddy. I mean, his smile was instantaneous because of his teammate. It had nothing to do with his performance because he's four seconds off. Every time he looked at the clock,